Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in to another Scorpio download, beloved. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls have been doing amazing. I will that you're grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I know it's been a minute since I've done a reading, but I did do a collective reading about a week ago. And that energy um, was very powerful. So you might want to tune in to that because there may be some, um, you know, there might be some downloads there for you, some messages that might be um, resonant for you. Uh, but how are we all doing? I will, everyone is feeling healthy, wealthy, mind, body, and soul. As I said, everything is everything on my side of the planet. Um, this energy has been very intense, this full moon energy. Um, not to mention, we have Saturn, which is about to go into retrograde. So Saturn is known as the planet of karma. So uh, there could be a lot of, of work, um, you know, that you all could be doing to, you know, kind of navigate out of um some tough situations I definitely feel like there's going to be um, you know some changes some positive changes that are going to break through for many of you all that have been doing this work but without further ado I've already done my prayers I've already sent up my petitions to my angels guides ancestors and I've called upon them to just guide this reading and provide you all with the most um, you know the most beautiful, um, powerful, and necessary messages that you may need at this time. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and proceed with the read. As I said, I've already said the prayers. I've already Palo Santoed. And now let's delve in. I'll shave. So let's see what we have on the Klizak. It is currently 645. So that reduces to six. And then we have, what is that? Uh, Lionel Hampton, stop, I don't need no sympathy. And that's very interesting because that number six um, is that number of the lovers. When you think of the six um, card in Tarot, that is the lover, that is a major arcana. And the lovers is really about balance and harmony. And even as I look at the picture of this feminine energy on the album cover, it's like she's embracing and holding herself, comforting herself. It's it's a, a show of self-love. Um, so with that stop, I don't need no sympathy. It's like, I feel like you are all right on your own. Like you're not looking for any validation from anyone else because you have since come into harmony with yourself. So you are balanced, meaning your your feminine and ma masculine um, aspects have come into union, into harmony. So there is an, a, a balance, you know, there is a balance um, that you may be feeling at this time that may be very prevalent. Um, and you're letting people know, like, look, I don't, I don't need your sympathy. I don't need, you know, sympathy parties. I, I don't need your pity. It's like, you know, whatever has transpired, it, it feels as if there could be, um, you know, maybe an apology or and someone may say something um, that kind of triggers you to 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 let them know, like on the spot, like, look, no, <laughs> I, I don't need your sympathy. I don't need you to feel sorry for me. I don't need that. And, and that is a very strong testament to um, the self-love that you have for yourself. Uh, but more importantly, the lack of needing um, validation from any external sources. But um, I'm just seeing victories also with that six of wands. I definitely am feeling like you're moving. You're moving away from, I feel, an old state of mind and into, you know, a new um, aspect of yourself. I just feel like there is this new you emerging. Um, and even with that 1974 um, that nine, I never count the nine because anything going into nine is that number. So the one, the seven and the four that breaks down to 12. Um, and that 12 is like the hanged man. 
So I feel like you have perhaps forced someone, you know, maybe you've taught someone, um, you've taught them something and you've taught them something about you, uh, which is that you, you are not who they may have thought you were, um, not who they had you pegged out to be. Um, you are so much more than that. Um, because when you break down that 12, which is the hangman, that 12 becomes three. One plus two is three. That's the empress. So it's like you've reached this level of self-mastery and it was through your own trials and tribulations that you've grown. And perhaps this person that I am picking up on, whoever's energy this is, that could be coming back to either apologize or to, I'm hearing in my mind as I seek forgiveness, um, it's like, you know, it, you're all ears, but it's almost as if they may say something that you're like, no, I'm not looking for your sympathy and I'm not looking for you to feel sorry for me. You know, I just want you to take accountability for your part as I've taken accountability for mine. You know, like that's, it's like, it's almost like you're setting it straight, but you're letting them know, like you're, they, they don't throw any pity parties for me. I'm not over here self-loathing. I've been growing. I've been building. I've been strengthening myself. I'm in my power right now. So I don't need your sympathy. I don't need your validation. It's almost like you're setting someone straight. And you, you know, you're, you're not chopping their head off, but you are standing perpendicularly in your square. And you are saying how you feel. So this is a powerful energy. With that number six, also, that is the number of the first die. So I feel like you're using discernment when you have this conversation, like you're speaking actual facts, you're speaking truths, um, and you're doing so because you have analyzed the situation, you've, you've observed it, um, and your spirit is, is absolutely um, what's leading and guiding you um, in this conversation. But I am absolutely picking up very strong intuition and you just leaning on your intuition and your discernment to have this conversation um, with whomever this is that I'm picking up on. So let's go ahead, proceed, see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Um, and right now we have, it's funny, but we have Faith Evans featuring Carl Thomas. Um, and it's Can't Believe. And what was funny is I saw P. Diddy. I saw his name in the very intro of it. Um, so, you know, maybe some of you all are dealing with some, some legal matters. Um, and maybe you can't believe like, you know, you're dealing with this, maybe something transpired that was unexpected. Um, with Carl, um, Thomas, someone's name could be Carl or Thomas. Maybe there's a judge or a lawyer, Carl or Thomas, or maybe some of you all are dealing with some sort of legal matters um, and spirit is just simply telling you to walk in faith and not by sight. Maybe it feels like everything is stacked against you, um, but spirit is saying that there's, you know, that you can send out your petitions, that they are with you and they can lean you in a certain um, way. Uh, spirit is guiding me to, to look into my book of Psalms um, because there is a prayer um, there is a psalm for someone dealing with, um, see, look at this, justice in court cases. So for some of you, spirit is, is um, telling you keep the faith, the number, for, number one, first and foremost. But they're telling you, they're guiding me to tell you um, on the evening before your court appearance, burn a blue candle and some of the John the Conqueror incense um, while you're sitting quietly and read through Psalms, uh, Psalm four, several times, I usually tell people to read up to seven times. You could even read it up to 21 times. Um, but, um, I say three, seven or 21 that, that those are very, you know, powerful numbers. But, um, you, you, I, I would, if I were you, if it's a really, um, serious court case or legal matter, I would definitely read uh, Psalm 4 21 times under the light of a blue candle. And um, if you have John the Conqueror, you can find that incense at any botanica. If you don't have a botanica, 
you should be able to go like on Amazon or, um, you know, on Etsy even, um, and look for John the Conqueror and burn the incense, um, as you're reading the Psalm. Um, Amazon is really good with, um, like shipping packages really quickly. So if you have an upcoming case, I would hop on this, um, you know, expeditiously. Um, and it says it advises you to do it the day before, but I would do it even, you know, leading up to it. It doesn't have to just be the day before. If your court case is next month, I would read that Psalm four every day and, and follow that, that step, those steps burning a blue candle as you're reading it then you know, kind of, um, let it out, uh, and then relighting it, you know, so burn it for as long as it takes for you to read it for three, seven or 21 times straight through and, um, then snuff out your candle, never blow out your candle, um, get like a candle, um, snuffer. They have those, or you could just simply just kind of lick your fingers and then just put it out like that. Everybody can't do that, but, um, never blow your candle out. Just like you should never blow your sage smoke. Um, you, that's why they have feathers because you're supposed to use, um, you know, these, these tools, um, to really fan, to really fan the, the, uh, sage smoke to, you know, to the parts of your home that you wish to clear, cleanse and clean or clean, clear and cleanse. But let's dive into your reading. So, um, right now we have. We got, uh, who is this? Who is this? Oh, I don't know who that was. The, this is um, Brown Skin by Ania Ina Brayon. Brown Skin. So some of you may be some brown skin mommies. Some of you may be tanning, you know, getting bronzed. We have eight manifestation here on the bottom of the deck. So I was just speaking to... Um, you know, Saturn being a planet of karma. Uh, so, you know, for many of you, some of you have been planting some very, um, you know, some beautiful and, and, and robust seeds. Uh, you, you have been, oh, uh, look at this. There's a squirrel outside my door and Katara is, um, <laughs> Katara is, is, uh, just kind of, she's having a little, cat TV right now if you see it right there and there are squirrels out there because I feed the birds and so the birds drop um, some of the seeds onto my patio and so the little squirrels will come I put food in the bowls for the um, squirrels as well just to keep them fed you know but um, Katara is having a little bit of cat TV she's looking at the patio but, um, yeah, so with this eight manifestation, you guys have been really planting a lot of seeds and your seeds are growing, you know, whether you realize this or not, that's why spirit was telling me like, you know, you have to walk in faith, you know, even when things seem like they are trumped against you, it's like, you have to always remain grounded in the knowingness that everything is working out in your favor. You know, and that good things always happen to you. Those should be the affirmations that you are reciting, even when else, when everything else seems to be like, you know, seems to, to look very gloomy or seems to even be dim or it's not going to, you know, work out in your favor. You will be amazed at how universe source the divine works. And what this is telling me that the seed you've sowed in good face in the past and, uh, you know, in good faith, pardon me, in the past, and it was just 14, 14 on the clock, that's five, five, that's 10. That means that your wheel is now turning. So good things are now coming in based off of the good deeds that you have done in your past. So there is a sense of you manifesting something that you've desired, either through you planting the seed, setting the intention, speaking daily over it, setting up mantras, you know, sending up prayers and petitions, doing daily mantras, whatever you've been doing, it's manifesting visualizations. Maybe you've been doing that where you've been waking up and reciting your prayers or reading scripture or writing and journaling in your, 
um, books, scribing um, your petitions and desires down uh, whilst you're visualizing. Maybe you've been waking up and you have a routine of, you know, just calling in and drawing in what you want through just gratitude prayers. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's working. And it's working so much that spirit is saying it's manifesting in this physical reality. Um, we have 70s, 80s reggae roots playing. This is like a playlist. Some of you all could be locked. Some of you definitely could also be um, born in the 70s or 80s. We just had that, that song um, that was showing us 1974. Um, right now we have almost Sangari and this is Mali Niali so this is like Africa someone some of you all could be from African um, descent or be from Africa um, I'm seeing Mali so some of you could be from Mali Africa yeah some of you could be from Mali but what we have on the split is we have the number eight and then we have the um, 11 individuality. So for many of you, I feel like some of you had to break free from codependent relationships um, and learn to you know, be independent and stand perpendicular in your square. As we saw on that first song that played, there was a feminine energy that was embracing herself, hugging herself. Um, and I was just picking up an energy of someone who's now in balance, someone who's in harmony. And perhaps you had to break free from a relationship that made you feel codependent. Or you may have been codependent emotionally, financially, in a situation. And that is why I was picking up, like, you may have moved away. You know, there may have been some time where you've worked on yourself um, to find this harmony and this peace. Because that number 645 that we opened up the reading... That is the, the lover's card. So that is about, you know, being in um, harmony with oneself, feeling emotionally, spiritually, and even maybe mentally um, in equilibrium. But um, let's happen to see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively, spirit. And let's not forget that the six is also, um, I was also picking up the six of swords energy um, where you've changed your perspective about some things. Maybe you've moved away. Maybe you've moved on. Maybe you've, um, you know, decided to protect your peace, you know, protect your your happiness, you know, to establish boundaries, you know, to create a safe space for yourself. And I'm, I was also picking up victory and success and breakthroughs. So I do feel like there will be some things that are going to um, absolutely work out in your favor, especially with that 11 individual individuality maybe that was what you needed to see was that you were fully capable of standing on your own or being independent um, as we all know our independence is the foundation for our stability and security and our overall happiness so when you are secure in yourself first and foremost um, then that will only um, it will only grow larger you know that that love you know, that, that it will only flourish um, when another person enters into, you know, your cipher. So let's tap in and see what universe has for you, beloveds. All right, spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? And I'm hearing this is the last one. Bottom of the deck is the overall energy. And we have 44 environment. And on the bottom of the deck, we have 19. And we know the 10 in traditional tarot, the tarot deck, that 10 is the wheel of fortune. That's also another major arcana. So the 10, again, is saying that wheels are turning in your favor. As we pulled both of the cards, we had the eight. Um, we had that number eight card, which was the manifestation. And then we pulled the 11 which was the individuality. The eight and the two reduces to 10, which is a wheel of fortune. And that's why I'm saying things are now turning in your favor. But I also feel like there's, um, there's like fortune fame. It's like something that's destined to be in your life, something that you're destined to do or destined to have or destined to be. 
is starting to manifest. With this 44 environment, I see the number four. That's first and foremost associated with your solar plexus. I said your solar plexus, pardon me. Your solar plexus is, your, is the sun that shines within you. But the four is your heart chakra. Whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's what you're attracting to you. And because you've been healing and growing and flourishing and you've been planting your seeds in good faith, I feel like there are some things that are absolutely blossoming in your life. And I see this as, you know, almost like a wish fulfillment um, because you've made the decision to, you know, walk away from people, places and things that were not serving your highest good or people that did not see you, see your worth or see your value that did not add on to you. With this eight, I also get a sense of like, not only wishes are coming true, but I feel like spirit is also acknowledging your hard work, your effort, the seeds that you've sowed, you keeping your eyes on the prize, you being resilient, you being person, you know, being persistent towards achieving a, a specific goal. Um, I'm also feeling like, you know, there's someone um, who you may meet, you know, in your place of employment or someone that could be in, you know, in your orbit, someone that's coming in that is looking to collaborate. This is like given the eight of pentacles um, where someone is seeing you as someone that they could absolutely build with. Um, and you both have a lot of love to give, a lot of love to share. That green deals with the heart chakra as well. But that green also shows the healing um, that has taken place um, within both of these individuals because this is a solid green card. So no one has to come in and heal another person in order for the relationship to build momentum. Both parties are coming in um, pretty healed on their own, you know, pretty, pretty uh, mature and, and ready for love and open to love and receptive to love. And it's not something that someone has to convince another person. I feel like someone has had some sort of ego death as well. You know, maybe there was this expectation of things working out a certain way and maybe they didn't. And it was very humbling um, what may have transpired. And so this ego death is now, um, you know, opening up an opportunity for someone to have this beautiful brand new beginning. So let's see who you're attracting to you. This is your overall energy. Your overall energy is beautiful because it's showing that you have this vigor and this vivaciousness. This eight is also given like a wish fulfillment that's coming through, breaking through for you. Um, it's also related to karma. So I feel like what goes around comes back around again. So the good deeds that you've done in your past, you will now be rewarded. As I was just saying earlier with the number eight, uh, not only are we in an eight universal year, um, which is the dragon year. Some of you can be a dragon, um, you know, in your Chinese zodiac. But this is a year where I feel like you're going to see a lot of, of positive breakthroughs in your life, a lot of movement, a lot of traction you know, that is going to take place. So for who or what you're attracting to you, you could be, you know, someone that is just, a, it's like you in, in, you're inspiring someone to get rid of any type of pride, any type of ego or any type of false sense of self, um, and to present their authentic self to you. And it has a lot to do with just them feeling safe, you know, feeling safe, feeling comforted um, by you, by your disposition, the way you present yourself is um, just very inviting, warm, caring, tender, um, compassionate. Um, and so, you know, with that pride, um, earlier I was picking up like someone who could be coming to you um you know, to seek your forgiveness, because that's what I heard earlier. And, you know, maybe they may say some things that might, might not resonate. And, you know, because that song that was playing when we first opened up the reading was, I don't need no sympathy. And so I feel like that could be someone like trying to come back. Maybe this is a karma, a karmic 
Um, and I just saw the word healing my soul on the screen. Um, when I, there it is healing my soul. Um, so that's what you've been doing. And that's why you don't need anyone's sympathy because you're not, you don't need validation from anyone external to yourself because you've done healing at a soul level. So there is no need for you to, um, you know, have someone, uh, and maybe you could be saying this to them because, you know, maybe they're, they're feeling guilty. And it's like, look, I don't, I don't need your sympathy. I don't need a pity party. Your apology is enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm picking up that, that sense as well. We have Michelle, um, and Dale Cello, and this is called the Atlantics. So some of you could be from the DMV. I believe that's where Michelle and Dale Cello is from. Um, Someone's name could be Michelle. Someone could be from African descent as well. I believe that is um, an African um, name, Michelle and Deo Cello. So let's tap in. Let's see who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Who or what is attracted? Is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Who or what? Is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? And we have 91 surrender. We just saw 19 pride. So we have 10 karmic completion. So remember, I was expounding on that number 10 earlier, saying that there was some sort of turning point. And, you know, as we all know, 10s represent endings, but every ending denotes a new beginning. So this number 10, which is the karma completion card. So you are absolutely ending one cycle. And you're on the precipice of a new cycle. So you have some sort of fresh start, a new beginning that is transpiring right now. With this 44 and this 10, that's one. With 144, I feel definitely some of you are spiritually, you know, astute. Like you are someone who is chosen. You have skills, gifts, talents, spiritually that others um, do not have. You're part of the 144. You're part of the chosen um because i'm hearing 144,000 so this 144 that i'm seeing with this 1044 um is definitely telling me that some of you all are um either you are your spiritual practitioners um maybe you are uh healers of some sort shamans um maybe you are going through a rites of passage maybe some of you are looking to um, go to like an ayahuasca retreat. Um, maybe some of you are looking to take mushrooms, um, you know, to, to go on that spiritual journey. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm feeling like there is, um, some level of, of initiation, some level of, um, you going through some sort of rites of passage with that 144. But with this 10, I also am getting a sense of like, something is about to turn in your favor um, because the tens uh, are saying that there's something that's final you you've completed a cycle you've learned the lessons and now you are about to learn something new you know you're about to come into something new um, this reduces to nine and nine is given the hermit so I do feel like you've been taking a lot of time to work on yourself to do introspective work reflective work um, you know, just to kind of like analyze your situation as a whole, um, to learn self-awareness or to discover, um, more about yourself. And in that process, um, you may have absolutely, um, realized that, you know, there's, there's a need to just open up and be receptive to the blessings that spirit desires to pour into you. So I am getting a sense of just you know, you feeling very content in your own skin, feeling very, very, um, I just get a sense of you feeling very satisfied, um, self-loving, you know, I keep seeing that, that album cover of that feminine energy, like just hugging herself and embracing herself. And that, that is a show of self-love. I'm also getting like the nine of cups with this as well, you know, with this eight and this 10, that's nine again, like I said, so I'm just, I'm just getting a sense of like the nine of cups. That's my, me, myself and I 
card, my De La Soul card energy, um, where you're just really focusing on yourself, prioritizing you, doing what you feel most passionate about, doing what inspires you, doing what thrills and excites you in this chapter of your life, you know, and it's because you've taken a lot of time to get to know your likes and your dislikes. You've taken a lot of time to heal, to do those deep dives within yourself, to take those internal self audits. And so now you know what you want. Now you know what you deserve. And so there's this energy of like, you know, you're open to love, um, but you're open to the right type of love. That 91 also breaks down to 10. And I feel like after you wrap up a cycle, as I said, something new opens up. So you can now come out of a, a state of being super protected or guarded or um, being very blocked off and closed off um, to now just trusting, you know, the process, trusting spirit. And that's because what's coming is destined. You know, the 10, as I said, that's the, uh, the um, that is the wheel of fortune. So I feel like spirit is moving things around. What we have right now is Miles Davis and John Coltrane. Um, and this is called Kind of Blue. So this is a beautiful song. Some of you may love jazz. Um, with Kind of Blue, blue deals with the throat chakra. So I feel like someone kind of wants to speak to you, but maybe, you know, there could be some blockages. Maybe they're feeling a little sad or hesitant, or maybe they're not feeling um, as confident. Um, I get a sense with the blue reference again also that, for you, you may have been really taking the time um, to just mature, to grow, to to heal yourself, to um, you know, to get to know what you like, to hone, you know, your skills, your gifts, to you know, kind of just be in this very learned place, you know, open to learn, um, looking to build your wealth of knowledge. And I feel that could be the reason why someone may be a little hesitant with speaking with you, but they do desire to speak to you nonetheless. And I do feel like they're just hoping that you open up um, and surrender because maybe they just get a sense that you are closed off because the Nine of Cups, if you think of that card in traditional tarot, there is a man smiling, but he has his arms crossed over his heart. And so that would show a sign of protection like that the the body language is showing that you're very protective and you're guarding your heart and so how this person feels about you what's on the bottom of the deck is they may want you to just surrender surrender to love um to open up to love to be more receptive to love um so that you could have this fresh start this new start with whomever this person is um because i do feel like this is destined because this nine and this one is still ten. So I feel like this is someone that maybe spirit is sending into your life. Um, because it is destined. So you could be aligning with the right person at a very opportune time. So let's see how they feel about you, my beloved Scorpios. So how does this person I beloved or what this person... How does who or what our beloved Scorpios... What this is that they are attracting to them feel about them? So we have 26 love partnership. I can't make this up. So someone's definitely in love with the 26, eight. They may see you as a star. They may be watching you. I don't know what you're doing. Maybe this is someone that you work with, someone you may live around. Um, this could even be someone that you know from your past or someone that you may pass, you know, just, just in, 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 you may see them or have met them in passing is what I'm saying. Um, but this is someone that's definitely seeing you as like a wish fulfillment. Um, this is someone who could be mustering up the strength, courage, and wise dome to approach you because as I was picking up earlier, someone could be a little hesitant and it could be due to a lack of confidence um, because they are seeing you as someone very um, powerful. You know, they're seeing you as someone who's, um, you know, like in that empress energy, goddess energy, god energy, emperor energy. So maybe you, you may come off as unapproachable or you may come off as someone that has their ish together. And, you know, that could be intimidating if someone is not, um, you know, does not feel like they are on the same vibration as you or, you know, in the same 
I don't, I'm hearing class, um, but you know, maybe this person may feel like you have more than they do. Um, so there could be some hesitance. Um, we have seven, seven spirituality. So I am feeling like whomever this is, cause what's hidden is, you know, is this seven, seven on the bottom of the deck. So this could absolutely be someone that I do feel spirit is aligning you with. And I feel they will muster up the strength, courage, and wisdom to communicate. But spirit is saying it's going to take some time, you know, um, because the seven, seven breaks down to 14. Um, and that is the temperance. So I do feel like they are taking their time because they do want to get it right. But I also feel like, you know, this is saying and confirming that there will be a conversation. That's what's hidden. I feel there's a lot of communication or thoughts, um, you know, of another person, whether if someone's thinking of another person, um, you know, or maybe there's this telepathy that's going on, or maybe there is just dreaming. Someone could be dreaming of, of another person, whatever the case may be, whether this is an intuitive conversation, telepathic conversation, or whether this is an actual conversation that you are engaging with another person. Um, the two of you are highly, highly spiritual beings. Um, and that's why I feel like spirit is aligning you with this person. Um, because if you are a part of the chosen, you have a divine feminine or divine masculine that you are to come into union with because collectively, you know, to in, in harmony or in unison, you can help the collective. So there is the sense that there's some sort of um, partnership a spiritual partnership or um, some spiritual connection um, that you have with another person and as I said earlier it seems that it is a destined union uh, because how this person or what you're attracting to you feels about you is love you know they feel like you are a wish fulfillment they've seen you and have watched you literally transform you've gone through some sort of startling metamorphosis and you have become stronger and wiser. And that's why I feel like I was picking up earlier, like you don't need no sympathy. Like you were telling someone that, um, because maybe someone is just naturally just kind of like praising you or what you've been through. And, and it's just like, you know, maybe it's sort of like a turnoff for you, or it's just not something that you're looking for in terms of, you know, someone's, um, you know, someone complimenting you, you're not looking for them uh, to feel the need to, to validate you or shower you with these, these um, compliments, if you will. Um, that's just what I was gathering. What we have playing right now is Come Home. And this is um, Anderson Pop featuring Andre 3000. So Come Home. So whoever this is, this could be, like I said, a karmic Someone wants you to come home. You feel like home. You feel like the hearth to this person. Um, but maybe someone is coming, returning to you. Maybe this is almost given like past life because we opened up the reading with 645. The six deals with the lovers. That could also speak to like a past life love. You know, someone that you have not spoken to in quite the time. Someone's name could be Anderson or Andre. I definitely feel uh, maybe someone's apartment number could have been 3,000. But yeah, someone could be from Atlanta, Georgia, or California. So with the 77 spirituality um, on the bottom of the deck for what's hidden. All right. And the cards that flew out. Look at that. So someone is going through an ego death. They put in the pride to the side. We also have 71 health. So there is someone who's going to become stronger when they get rid of the ego. You know, because the ego is almost like a sense of false identity it's it's not your authentic self you're kind of living um behind this you know it's like you're wearing a mask you're not presenting your authentic self you know with the um 48 on the bottom of the deck financial discipline i am feeling like there's some collaborations coming in uh, but the 11 individuality so that's what needed to take place um i feel like someone was codependent in a relationship and they weren't being their authentic self, maybe out of a fear um, or maybe insecurities or maybe there was some low self-esteem. There could have been familial issues. 
I feel like this caused a lot of like health problems. You know, maybe someone was, you know, had high blood pressure. I'm hearing hypertension. Uh, maybe someone was an emotional eater or maybe there was someone who had like ulcers or um, just dealt with a lot of stomach issues. And when you think of the stomach, um, the, the gut, that is, that is where your chi energy is housed. Um, a lot can be blocked up in your chakras if you don't like naturally clean, clear, and cleanse your energy. Um, that's why Reiki is a very, um, is a very necessary, um, it's a very necessary cleansing that, you know, I feel people should really partake in um, because it does clear out a lot of, you know, blocked up and backed up energy, you know, and some of the stuff you may have been carrying, you know, from a former lifetime. Maybe this is, you know, blockages from childhood trauma, um, but your stomach is a place where anger is stored, pain, um, anxieties, you know, um, and so it's very necessary to always be working um, on that particular chakra. Your lower chakras um, in general are very important to work on because it can block everything, um, which can leave you feeling stuck, leave you feeling confused and conflicted. So I do feel like, you know, for some of you all, pride and ego um, may have played a factor where, you know, you were just hell bent on trying to make something work that never did or that never was meant to work. You know, maybe there were lessons that you were meant to learn from a situation, um, but you were holding on for dear life and you finally let go. You know, you finally let go. Uh, maybe there was, you know, this desire to kind of control um, the narrative or control um the, the relationship, you know, trying to maintain it or keep it. And these, these squirrels are chasing each other out there, being mean to each other. I don't like when they're mean to each other. There's enough food for everybody. Katara is having a blast. But yeah, so I do feel like, you know, finally there's this epiphany, like, okay, let me break free. But there is something that's working out in your favor nonetheless. When you break the ego, the pride, um, and put that to the side, um, you do become stronger, ultimately. Um, you do, you know, regain this power, this sense of power. Um, and it's because you realize your independence is the foundation for your stability and your security and your overall happiness. Um, we have Kelly McRae, and this is called Until the End. And this is from a Netflix movie that I watched called The Glory. It's like um, a, a Korean um, series. I love my little international shows. Like I love British shows. I love Korean shows. I love to watch my little African shows. <laughs> like I, I just feel like the writing um, in other parts of the world just seems to be a little better. I can always kind of predict what's going to happen in American films like it's just so predictable they give everything away in the first 30 seconds of the film if you watch like the the intro to the movie like they're literally telling you everything and I'm just such an intuitive person it's just like it's no fun knowing what's gonna happen all the time so I like to watch movies where it's like it's kind of like you know so it's, it's a thriller it, it takes you on these ups and downs and it's not easily predictable um, but I digress. So the glory, you will have the glory. Um, I was picking up the victory, but you will absolutely, um, you know, feel very, very, um, I feel satisfied and content with your outcome. I do feel there's going to be a lot of collaborations. I absolutely see like business will be flourishing or your uh, career will be flourishing. Like you're going to have more than enough to take care of your responsibilities or to handle your responsibilities. Um, so your outcome, so I'm going to take this card because this is, okay, these two cards want to be chosen. 
and you have this 91 surrender. So you have both the 91 and the 19. So to me, this just shows you've done a lot of shadow work. So your shadow work right now, what's hidden is you are, you know, ridding yourself of the ego and pride. Um, and your outcome is you will eventually surrender to whatever it is that your universe, source, the divine angels, your guides are leading you to do. So as I said, you got to, you know, get rid of the need or the necessity to try to control things because we are not in control. That is completely universe, the divine, our, you know, angels that are in control, the most high God. Um, and see, we have loose ends. So hanging on a string. So I feel like you, you are definitely clearing up some loose ends. Um, I feel like if you're not spirit is, I just saw 45, 45, which is nine, 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 nine breaks down to 18. So as I was picking up shadow work, uh, the 18th card is the moon. So we're in this full moon energy. So I feel like spirit is saying this full moon, especially with the energy of Saturn going into retrograde this month, um, that there will be the, you know, this clearing of things that no longer serve you. We clearly see that with karmic completions, um, as well as seeing, you know, that things that are destined to happen are taking place. So things that are no longer serving you are being removed. It's being banished. It's being purged. It's being released. And because you're starting to understand or understand um, your power, um, and more importantly, the power that you possess independently and in your singlehood, um, it has only strengthened you. And it's made you more trusting of universe. It's made you more trusting of your angels and your guides and your most high um, because you realize like they've brought you this far. Um, if you felt like you were hanging on by a string, um, I definitely feel like, you know, there's going to be a turning point. Like spirit is definitely stepping in and providing you with what you're destined to have. So you're aligning with what is meant for you. The other cards that flew out, we got spiritual career. And remember, I was picking up with 144 that many of you could be spiritualists, practitioners, shamans. You could be healers, light workers, Reiki healers, um, you could be channelers, you could be tarot card readers, um, you could be musicians, you know, um, you could have a spiritual business, you could, you know, um, you could just be someone who's uh, very spiritually astute and you're utilizing your skills, gifts and talents to awaken the masses. You may have divine knowledge and wisdom. Um, you may be a channeler of some sort, but whatever it is, your, your spiritual career as I said, you're coming into alignment with it. You're coming into alignment with your purpose. Some of you all have been trying to fight it. Some of you have been trying to deny it. Some of you have been ignoring the signs. Um, some of you have been receiving a lot of messages through spirit, um, you know, whether through your dreams or maybe through animal totems that visit you. Maybe your ears have been very sensitive where you've been hearing a lot of ringing. Maybe some of you have been actually hearing words people speaking, maybe you've been feeling sensations like a web or, you know, a feather or whatever it is that you're feeling. I'm absolutely getting a sense that now you're coming in to your power. Some of you could be from UK, as this is the loose ends, they're from um, the UK, Britain. Um, we also have eight manifestation. This also flew out. So this is powerful. This is very powerful. And what I'm seeing here is 888 because this 91... 78 and 8 is all 888. Um, you know, as I said, if you put anything into 8, it will be 8 again. And so 888, that 7, 8, what is that? 8, 8, wait, 8, 8, 8, yep. So 24 into 9, what is that? Anyway, I'm not going to even do the math, but yeah, 888, and look at that, spiritual partnership. I can't make this up. I literally said that. You're coming into alignment with not only your divine purpose, but your person, your passion. You're, you're coming into alignment with what you are meant to be doing. And that's why there could have been some, you know, some, some delays because you were holding on to things 
that you were supposed to be letting go of. And it was out of pride. You know, maybe you put a lot of time and energy into a situation and <clears throat> that could have led to you being very codependent on that situation. But I feel by you breaking free from it and having that ego death, you know, and putting your pride to the side, that's what allowed for you to, you know, own your strength, own your power, you know, by walking away, by focusing on your health and wellness, you know, um, taking care of you and prioritizing you, you know, because maybe you were in a connection that was kind of just kind of jolting you, you energetically. What we have on the bottom of the deck is 14 moderation. And remember, we saw that 7-7 seven, seven, spirituality and I was breaking down 14 uh, being the temperance card. So you definitely, Spirit was saying um, that it was very necessary for you to be patient in this process as they were working out the kinks. I am absolutely feeling like um, Spirit has been, you know, working behind the scenes to bring something in to fruition for you. Um, we have 44 here again. Is that 31 and that 4. I said that 31, that 14 and that 3. Um, is 4-4. Four, four. That breaks down to 4-4. Four, four. And remember, we have 44 here. So with the creativity, because um, what I'm gathering, this is this is showing me, you know, that there's... Because uh, the 4-4 four, four is 8. That's like a wish fulfillment. So I'm, I'm absolutely seeing like the star card. And what's more beautiful is that like spirit is showing you that good things take time to create, including you, you know, getting to that space where you feel like that empress or that emperor, um, where you feel like you've reached a level of self mastery, where you have a deeper understanding of you, a deeper understanding of your journey, um, a deeper understanding of your purpose and your passion. It's like you had to grow through whatever you went through. Those were the modifications and the moderations and the transformations that you've had to endure. And so this is a very beautiful sign to show that now there is this, this warmth, you know, this, this light that just exudes from you. And it's because of the work, the changes you've made. That 14 breaks down to five. It shows the moderations, the changes that you've made within the self. It was necessary. If you would have started something prematurely, um, then that's the reason why it ended um, perhaps traumatically or drastically or unexpectedly um, because there wasn't enough time getting to know um, that person, but there also wasn't you know, that opportunity um, for you to show your authentic self, if you will. Maybe you were the one wearing the mask um, because you weren't showing up as your authentic self because maybe you were trying to appease a person or please this person. Um, and, you know, that never works out um, the way we want when we are not being our authentic selves because self-love is more attractive ultimately if someone feels like they can walk all over you or take advantage of you or use you, um, then the, the respect is diminished. Um, and that's why I was feeling like, you know, you're setting the record straight with someone like, look, I don't need your sympathy because you've become more empowered now. You know your worth. You have love, self-love. You have a love of self. You have knowledge of self, more importantly. But what we have on the bottom of the Psychic Tarot deck is the power card. So what did I say about you taking your power back? This is also showing that you are in, you know, in control of your own subconscious thoughts. You are the one um, making the decisions and doing things the way you see fit. So you have taken your power back. We have Bonnie Tyler, total eclipse of the heart. So, you know, whenever you d display strength, whenever you so show this sense of strength and, and determination and drive and resilience and you've persevered that's a very attractive thing and so spirit is saying you know that you know your overall energy with the eight you have two eights and two eights break down to 16 so there was definitely a tower that fell but that tower falling is what brought you to this place where you're stronger now where you know what you want where you know what you don't want 
you know, where you know who your people are, which, who your tribes are. Because that 16 breaks down to 7. Now you're more, you know, <clears throat> ambitious. You're more balanced. You're in harmony now. That 7 is the chariot. So things are starting to balance out. Um, and it's because you've taken the time to heal yourself, you know, to get into a space where you're met, you're now in this emotional space of equilibrium. Um, it's also showing that you're more assertive. You're more, you're more assertive, but you're also more balanced and you're attracting someone or something that's also, um, you know, have done the same healing and, and soul work that you've done. Another spiritual person because you have the spiritual partnership in addition to love partnership and with total eclipse of the heart I'm, I'm just getting a sense of what someone is really you know coming back around or coming around because it says turn around and and this is the number eight so this could be a karmic trying to come back you know so just be mindful because as i said when somebody returns doesn't mean Okay, look at that. Look, moving on. So I was saying a karmic was coming, and this is what you're going to do. You're moving on because you're in your power. So you're not going to just accept someone back into your life because they've had some sort of grand epiphany. Um, I feel like, you know, that tower is falling, and you're now focused on rebuilding on a more solid foundation. But you're moving on, and you're moving on because you're coming out of the dark, Whatever was happening in the dark, remember I was picking up on the moon, and the moon always speaks to, you know, um, shadow work, things that are hidden, things that are unknown, secrets, you know, but you could clearly see now that there is this light, and this light is a reflection of, you know, you coming into your truth and owning the truth, but also more importantly, just moving on for what doesn't serve your highest good, and what was I just saying about light? And there goes the light card. That's the sun. It's the same as the sun. And then you have the sacrifice. Remember I mentioned the hangman earlier. And that's what this card is. So I do feel like, you know, there's been some sort of grand epiphanies or, you know, this kind of like, yep, there goes the victories and success I was telling you I saw as well. I was feeling like you're going to have your glory. And it's because you're now seeing things, you know, differently because you've had that time, you know, sacrifice is 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 really you you know being placed in a position where um you take onus and accountability and responsibility for your actions um and it's really to help you become a better per version of yourself um with total eclipse of the heart um whenever i think of an eclipse i always feel like it's about clipping away and cutting away those karmic cords yokes hexes spells generational curses um and even karmics you know so if you have someone that you have this strong soul tied to i feel like you're 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 moving on and away from that as i said earlier because this person may have presented a lot of obstacles and challenges there was a lot that this person may have done you know perhaps to sabotage you or to you know just kind of block you from your greatness or your happiness or your peace. Um, but no one can do this to you without participation. So whatever you allow is, you know, what you have to take onus for. And now you're no longer allowing it. And that's why, you know, this, this karmic completion is here because you're now taking control of your life. So let's tap into it and let's see what's coming in. Things are definitely turning around. Things are definitely improving. Divine spirit, peace, power, and protection. What's coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. I told you I saw someone that wanted to communicate. I saw the Ace of Swords, triumphant success. So with this sword up, this is not only insinuating or um, stating that you will be cutting out what no longer serves you, and that's what's bringing the success. That's what's bringing the, the victories. But this is also saying that there's a conversation that's taking place. And um, and this is the Crusaders. Um, this is called a message from the inner city. And this is that same. Um, if you, this is the original to that song by 
Queen Latifah, U-N-I-T-Y, you know, in the beginning of the song, that horn plays. And so that's what that is. But this is called The Crusaders, um, a message to um, or from the inner city. So some of you will be receiving a message from someone. Um, you know, I'm hearing from the from the block, like from where you grew up on. This could be someone that you knew from your past because I was picking up like, you know, a karmic. But you're going to receive a message from someone. Um, and um, I feel like, you know, this is going to allow, you know, for you to finally cut that cord, you know, to finally sever the tie. Because maybe, you know, this person has had some sort of epiphany or maybe you just realize like you're, you're no longer bound um, by this person or bound by that situation anymore. Look at that. I love this. You got wish fulfillments coming in. You got success. You got victories. We saw a lot of beautiful cards here. And we also know you have love and spiritual partnerships. You have a spiritual career here um, that I feel like you need to take seriously. Like, I feel like some of you all need to start really working on mastering your craft. Like, really, you know, whatever extra time you have, just use it. Um, mastering your craft honing your skills you know researching reading building your wealth of knowledge because i'm telling you it leads to success and victory you will be very successful and i feel i'm hearing um your prophecy is success and prosperity so for many of you um if you are in a spirit of lack that is all based on how you're seeing yourself because your birthright you know, is to be successful, is to be prosperous, is to be abundant. You know, it's not meant for anyone to, to live in poverty. That is a mindset. You know, that is a state of mind. So when you break that chain, then you break the cycle. And that's why we saw that triumphant success card with the sword. That's why I was picking up with that total eclipse, just spirit saying that, you know, with that eclipse, eclipse energy, it's really about cutting those cords, those karmic cords, cutting those, those yokes, you know, breaking you free from those things. So let's tap in. Why is this 44 environment here for the overall energy? And so we have someone trapped in fear. See that number eight. And so this is what someone is healing from. I feel like someone is stressed. Someone is anxious. Someone is pining. Someone is ruminating over something, overthinking. This is analysis paralysis. And this could be self-imposed because someone is not communicating or expressing something. Remember, I was picking up that someone was kind of hesitant or maybe even a little um, intimidated to speak with you. And when you see this fear, someone is trapped in fear. So someone has a fear. And 16 is, you know, this four and four, that's eight, eight and eight is 16. So that 16 is the tower. So someone may be trapped in fear because they've caused a tower. And so they don't know how to show face. Um, they feel guilty. You know, they feel remorse. You know, they feel afraid. They feel fearful. And remember earlier I was saying, I don't need your sympathy. You know, and maybe that's the pride. Someone is obviously suffering. And when you try to comfort them or maybe in the past when you've tried to comfort them they would be very like cold like I don't I don't need you know what I'm saying just like very emo I just get someone emotionally stunted you know but someone is is definitely feeling a lot of regret I'm feeling heaviness from this person I feel like they were deceptive in the past because when I think of the seven I just automatically see like the seven of swords so this person could have been very sneaky very deceptive very dishonest and they could have overstepped your boundaries in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And maybe now they are definitely a little fearful because you're now more um, assertive. You know, you're you're now more in harmony or in balance, so they can no longer um, manipulate or connive or sabotage you in the way that they may have attempted to in the past. Someone could be from New Jersey. And this album came out in 1973, so maybe someone's, because um, I see that here, 
in the description. So someone could have been born in 1973, which breaks down to 11. So whoever this person is, um, I feel like they're getting karma. I feel like they're getting, you know, some sort of karma because this is eight. This could be that karmic I was picking up with. This person that's trying to turn things around because that's the song that was playing. And it just made me, when I said turn things around, um, all I saw was the record spinning. So I do feel like this is that person. And I think that there's, um, you're going to um, reject this offer. Um, and it's because you, you it, it, it's, it was just a chapter in your life. This is not meant to be your, your full story, if you will. So what we have here, look at that positive movement forward. I cannot make this up. And that's because this cycle has been completed. It's wrapped up. It's done. So now you're moving onward, upward. That's what I was picking up. Like I was just getting a sense of like the wheel is now turning in your favor. And it's turning because you've cut the cord. You've cut the cord and you're moving on to bigger and better. And I just saw this card just popped up out of the blue. And guess what card that is? That's the Empress. So you've done this work. This is the work that you've done. You've asserted yourself. You have, you know, um, walked away from people, places, and things that were not honoring you. You've cut off those things that were not honoring you. And now you're moving on to bigger and better. You know, this eight is like the eight of cups where you're walking away from anyone or anything that was not honoring you, valuing you in the way that you deserved. Um... So let's tap it. Why is this 10 karmic completion here for who or what are the love Scorpios are attracted to them? Thank you, spirit. So this card flew out and this is intuition. And remember, I was telling you to trust your intuition. I also feel like your intuition is what led to you leaving, you know, because that 10 and that two reduces to three. Three is your solar plexus. So I feel like you follow the sun within, you know, that sun within you shine and it, it your gumption was leading you to, you know, close that chapter, you know, you can see this door. So you, you've walked through the door to a whole new chapter and you realize if you see that there's like beams of light coming from that door, which means that there is something better on the other side, you know, but this is really showing that, um, who or what you're attracting to you. I just feel like it's very representative of just, you know, trusting that inner gumption, you know, your intuition, your stomach acts as a second brain and that's where your solar plexus is housed. So it's like you, you may have performed some sort of, um, cord cutting ritual recently. Maybe you've had some sort of cleanse. You've clean, clear, cleansed your space. Maybe you've released some things recently, did some spring cleaning got rid of a bunch of furniture, got rid of clothing, got rid of things from your past. And this has really like, um, this has really lightened your energy in some way. You know, like this has really uh, given you the ability to, um, to just feel your way through a situation. You were able to like really pick up on um, just the feelings the sensations, the energy, the vibration of things. You trusted that. You trusted your intuition. And you're allowing your, you know, your faith, you know, you're, you're, you're being led by your faith. You're walking in faith. Because the eyes are closed, you know. So it's like you're, you're allowing your first side to see. You're using, you're using your first side to see, rather. And we got this triumphant success here. So... What, how this person feels that you're attracting to you or this per, this thing that you're attracting to you, um, you're attracting this triumphant success. I feel like you're going to get a message from someone. Like you're going to communicate with someone. Um, there's going to be just some, some deep conversations with a person. And you two will, will just hit it off, you know. And I feel like there's just going to be just this overwhelming feeling of love. You're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. Or this is how they're going to feel about you. Um, but it's just a beautiful energy 
nonetheless. I feel conversations are going to be very stimulating. I feel like you can find yourself speaking to this person for um, quite some time. But it's just like, you know, it, it's just a beautiful energy that I'm picking up on. I'm definitely feeling like there's a lot of synergy and chemistry between you and whomever this person is. So beautiful energy just popped out. Look what came out to confirm. Positive movements forward. So someone is definitely coming in. And I feel like this is like the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. This is someone who's absolutely asserting themselves. Because that, that 8 and 8 is 16. That's 7. So this is someone that's coming in very assertive, confident. They're very much balanced. I'm getting yin, yang. And we have heartache and loss. So you've suffered a lot of pain. And that's why you have this meta, um, this positive movement forward. Because you're coming out of a space where you know you suffered pain. That's why this card showed up. Positive movements forward. You're coming out of heartache and loss. Because I was picking up some of you. Especially with that karmic completion right next to it. It wasn't easy. You know, but you, you've maintained. Um, you've maintained your self-respect, your dignity, um, and you continue to heal. I feel someone really had you in up in your head a lot. Like, you know, I just get someone very manipulative, maybe even a gaslighter, someone who was just very cunning or speaking with a forked tongue. I just get a devil energy. But I feel like when you listen to your intuition, I feel like that's what kind of led you out of this situation and that's what I was picking up earlier here as well you know um because what's hidden is it says it's um 19 pride 71 health and then 11 individuality and so you trusted your intuition you trusted what your higher self was leading you to do why is 19 pride here 71 health 11 individuality for what's hidden thank you spirit Got another card that fell out and we have destiny didn't I tell you what was destined for you was coming you you are having many instances where spirit is aligning you you know you're being aligned with the right passion purpose people this is beautiful and the reason you're coming into this realization is because you took the necessary time remember I was saying that I felt like you were in a space where you were um really introspecting and working on yourself and through that you know you you also get to rejuvenate your spirit and recalibrate ultimately but this is also recovery a recovery period for you you're recovering from whatever hurts whatever pains that you've suffered from in your past and this is going to make you a better person but this was also destined for you it was written in the stars to transpire that game you may feel like you've been waiting and waiting for something, but I feel like, again, because we saw that that um, temperance energy, the moderation, it, things take time. Good things take time. But if you look clearly, you could see you know, that the seeds are slowly blossoming and the plants are growing leaves. So this was a slow and steady process that you had to trust. And that's why I was picking up like spirit just wanted you to walk by faith and not by sight. You know, to walk in faith and not by sight because... You know, the appearance of your life right now may not seem like it's going to turn out. Like it's going to turn out much better than I feel you even imagined. So for some of you, you could be like on the precipice of giving up. You could be frustrated. You could be saying to yourself, when is this coming? Why isn't this happening yet? What's going on? But it's like right there. And Spirit is just confirming that you really need to trust the process. We got Bob Marley stir it up. So spirit is stirring up something beautiful, cooking up something beautiful, and this is what's destined to be. And that's what I feel like you finally realize as well, because we got the 10 and the 10. So I feel like you're going to start to, you know, surrender the need to control the, your situation. And the, the moment you do that, the quicker I feel like your manifestations will start to flourish and blossom. I feel like you don't realize that they're already in your orbit. You know, because you've been just kind of focusing too much on, you know, that maybe the time frame and how long things are taken and you're not really just 
in in like embracing the journey or enjoying the jo- the journey. Um, so I feel like that's just a reminder to get rid of the ego and the pride and the ne- the need to control the narrative and just surrender to spirit and let spirit do do what it does. With destiny, you have something that's destined to be in your life coming in. So the mind spirit of peace bound protection. Why is 91 surrender, 78 spiritual career, 8 manifestation, and spiritual partnership here? Look what, look at this. Do you see that? Wish fulfillment, baby. I can't make this up. Your wishes are coming true. I told y'all, y'all had blessings coming in. Many of you are single. Many of you have been single for quite some time. And you've been working on yourselves for even longer. And I feel that is the reason why... Your blessings are coming true. Why you have positive movements forward. And it's because you've done the work. We could clearly see the work that has been done. Some of you all have been suffering in silence. But you still have that fight in you. And I feel like that's why spirit is reminding you to just let it go. You know, don't carry that burden. You have to let it go. Don't carry resentments. Don't carry animosities. You have to let it go. Or else it will burden you it will become burdensome and it will hold you back and and block you from your peace and your happiness and it will anchor you you know you'll be stuck and stagnant so that is why it's very imperative you know to let things go let it go let it flow whatever you are not in control of it will behoove you to just let it go release it all right so let's tap in so we have some messages from dark grimoire Bottom of the deck, we have, was, oh, the Empress. So you have the Empress there. That's beautiful. And I was picking up on Empress energy with this three, you know, this yellow card, self-mastery, you know, feeling very um, abundant, successful. You know, others are very attracted to you, drawn to you. You're like light, you know. Your, your, your name is in a lot of people's mouths. I feel like a lot of people, you know, may be talking about you or you know, admiring you. Um, you can see these two people kind of bowing down. Um, but you definitely are in your power and you are someone um, that others look to. Um, I feel like you stir up a lot of emotions in people as well. Someone's name could be Bob or Molly. Someone could be from Jamaica. Uh, someone could be a Rasta as well. Um, I see the judgment here. And I was picking up like a, a wake-up call, a sudden wake-up call, a sudden moment of epiphany you know and that's what someone is, is is receiving because they're realizing now you know because we're about to clarify this card here so someone is trapped in fear because they know you know your worth now they know you have knowledge of self now and so that's why i was picking up someone feeling um very much you know like they are um very much like they are a little intimidated especially when you're dealing with empress energy someone who knows their worth and value with this judgment i'm absolutely getting a sense of someone feeling um you know like they finally see something for the first time um but they're getting their karma and that's why they're trapped here in fear because there's like regrets remorse you know feeling a little bit of regret and remorse for what they've done so let's tap in there goes the hangman that i was mentioning earlier you know so now they're seeing you in a whole new light which is why they have this fear because they're starting to recognize that you've been doing a lot of healing, a lot of inner work. And they're also coming into some sort of realization that um, they too need to heal or that their heart is, is absolutely um, open for you. So let's tap in. Why is 44, 8, um, I'm sorry, 44 environment and 8 trapped in fear here? Uh, spirit of peace, power, and protection. Uh, spirit of peace, power, and protection. I get a message from my beloved Scorpio. Thank you. Wow. Look at that. That's beautiful. What did I say about you being a star to someone? Someone realizing you're a star. You've turned your pain into power. Someone finds you to be very, very beautiful, very loving. You know, someone sees you as very powerful. You've managed to turn your vulnerabilities into a superpower. You've managed to you know, really come into harmony and balance. You've learned how to co-create with source. And you now have this strong love of self. This is powerful. So this beautiful energy, someone is finally realizing 
that you were the wish all along. Just as I said, that you were the wish. You were the wish fulfillment. And this is someone that may very well be trying to um, come back into your life. Yep, because we have the six here, the six of cups. And that's like a past love. That's like someone from the past that could be coming in. Um, someone is definitely who or what you're attracting to you. They're definitely thinking about you heavy. This is that karmic. And, and you're following your intuition and you're completing the cycle because whoever this was may have abandoned you for someone else. You may have had some sort of um, unrequited love situation. Um, I was picking up that you could have been like, I don't want to say doormat because it could seem insensitive, but that's just what I see in my mind's eye. Like someone just constantly just, just walking over someone, overpowering them, controlling them, you know, asking more of them than they're willing to give, you know, like just taking advantage of a situation. And that's why I feel this person is now riddled with regret. This is someone that is suffering from even insomnia at night, can't get any rest because they're stressing, waking up in the middle of the night. And it's because you're on their mind. They're thinking of all the things Maybe that's a part of their karma is like they're having these flashback memories of, you know, all the things that they may have done that was just wrong. And it's like it's a little bit of guilty conscious here for them. Um, we also have this 10 karmic completion and the 10, uh, I mean, the two intuition. So it's it, this person is also like if you see they kind of resting their head on their hands almost in that same disposition like you know almost like I don't want to say it's like a, a feeling of like them giving up but it's almost like they they know it's like almost it's almost helpless like like they don't have much optimism in the situation so divine spirit why is 10 karmic completion and intuition here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them and we have justice didn't I say someone is receiving their karma Something is working out in your favor because you're trusting your intuition. And if you look here, someone could have been, um, you know, under some sort of spell. Someone could have done some sort of witchcraft. Like someone could have absolutely been manipulated. Their energy could have been manipulated in some, some, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And maybe intuitively you picked up on that. Or maybe intuitively you knew someone was under someone's um, control. And that's why you're walking away. I see the two of wands. So someone is absolutely seeking advice from another person in terms of what direction to take or what actions to take or make like, you know, maybe someone is seeking advice, but I do feel like someone is going to receive, you know, justice in the situation. Things are turning out um, fairly. Maybe someone that you're dealing with or attracting to you um, could be highly intuitive as well. And maybe they discover that someone has been doing some sort of love spells or voodoo, juju, hoodoo, santaria on them. And that's why this karmic completion is here because now things will start turning because whatever the spell is, the yoke has been broken, the, the you know, karmic cord has been cut. But there could have been some sort of soul tie or some sort of yoke, some sort of spell, witchcraft that was done. And maybe intuitively you were picking up on that. Or maybe intuitively someone else picked up on it. And now they're making a decision to leave. The two of wands is like making the decision. They've, you know, and they could just be either consulting with their higher self. Maybe they're seeking advice from a trusted um, friend or partner or, you know, family member. But there's this, you know, I could see here clearly with this light glowing someone is um, having some sort of epiphany you gotta excuse me my son is in my bed and he's just making a whole mess now Qatar is coming to add on <laughs> my son still rests with me at night even though he has his own room he's just a big old baby all right so why is 26 love partnership three heartache and loss and positive movements forward here for how who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them and we have the knight of cups so the Knight of Cups is saying that this is someone that could be like, you know, this could be a message, a positive message of love or a loving message. Someone, you know, offering you a cup of love. 
Um, we also have the Ace of Swords. So that's that same energy. So the, the truth. I feel like someone is coming with the truth. You know, the Ace of Swords gives you clarity. It gives you an opportunity to see things for what they are. This could even be someone apologizing, you know, because he's coming with the Knight of Cups. And then you have the Ace of Swords. So that's definitely telling, telling me that there's communication. And that communication could be what leads to you, you know, having this positive movement forward and coming out of the space of heartache and loss because someone is offering you love. You may have a new love interest that's entering into the picture, a message of interest, someone admitting their, their interest or admitting that they admire you. And we have the high priestess here. And the high priestess is, you know, that energy of someone who has divine knowledge and divine wisdom. So what's hidden is I do feel like for some of you all, um, you are trusting your intuition. You are, um, you know, highly spiritual as we saw earlier. And with this intuition, you're making your decisions based off of what um, feels right and sits right in your spirit. And so maybe you were picking up intuitively certain signs and, you know, from a person or you was picking up from someone's actions or body language um you know and maybe because you're so intuitive that's what breaks someone's ego and pride because you see right through them that's another reason why this person could be trapped in fear and we have um that's another playlist so i'm gonna just skip past that and we have blue magic teach me how to love so blue magic, that's another throat chakra. So someone could very well be, you know, admitting that they were wrong, as I said earlier. You know, putting their pride to the side, having some sort of ego death, and now there's this turning point. Someone wants to be taught how to love because, there's, as I said earlier, I'm just picking up that someone could have been, like, emotionally stunted. They're not as emotionally intelligent as you. And I feel like because they know you've taken the time to heal, to recover, to recuperate, and even to get to know yourself, it's like you, you're you like someone that they can learn from. I feel this is something someone's going to confess to you. And maybe you know this. Maybe you could feel it, sense it. You could sense the movement towards you. Why is the 19 Pride, 71 Health, 11 Individuality, 4 Rest and Rejuvenate, 2 The Waiting Game? Thank you, Spirit, here for what's hidden in the energy. And we have the 3 of Chalices. So this is someone returning from your past. This is you reuniting with someone. Someone is going to literally ask you to teach them how to love. And there's another rendition of this song. Um, well, it's not another rendition. There's another song with the same title, and that's by Music Soul Child. So that's the one I instantly heard when um, I saw, I read this. Teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Girl, I'm so lost. Like, it, it, you know, I just woke up, so my voice ain't all there. But that that's what I heard, you know. So this is like someone wanting to reunite. This is someone that's been waiting a long time to do this. This is someone that has taken the necessary time to heal, to recover. Like, you haven't heard from this person in a while. I feel the both of you have literally, um, you know, maybe there's been some communication telepathically back and forth because when we were pulling the energies for this, that's when we saw 77 spirituality cards show up. And I was speaking to, you know, the 77, 14, that's about patience. And then the 14 breaks down to five, which is you know, the communication that comes through. So I feel like once this person feels a sense of confidence or once this person feels, you know, this sense of, you know, I just feel self-confidence. I feel like when they feel self-confident, then they will um, take action. And I do feel like this is someone that you may know already because I, I just get a sense of like, you know, like if you look, it looks like this person is being... Um, surprised you know it's like reu reunited with some folks 
people are there and he's like unexpected like they've been on this journey and this also like sometimes I depict this like this person here could be like a spiritual guide for this person um I don't I, I don't always feel get the notion like this is someone that's been on the journey with this person I get a sense of like this is more like a spiritual guide you know because he's carrying like this he's carrying a book You know, it's like he's carrying a book and he's like got the whole hiking poles and, and these people like, you know, and he's not even looking at the crowd. You know, it's almost like he's looking at this person for this, their reaction. So it's like, I always get a sense of like the spirit guides led them to this reunion because I was picking up like being aligned with the right person. Let me get a message for 91 surrendered. A bunch of cards just flew out in my lap um 78 spiritual i just got to finish my shuffle and then we have the um queen of wands in the bottom of the deck and the queen of wands is very um powerful passionate um she's depicted as like a younger and attractive feminine um this could be how someone is seeing you even if you're masculine um, but she's definitely a go-getter. She goes after what she wants. She knows how to make things snap, crackle, and pop. So she's definitely someone that is um, a master manifester as well. Um, so let's see what flew out. So we have the ace, uh, the queen of swords. So we got the queen of swords here. Or pardon me, the king of swords. And that's the sword is up. And if you look, what is he doing? He's holding a head. So I do feel like you have cut off um, that false sense of uh, pride, ego. Um, you've cut things off that don't serve you. That's about, you know, that's why that victory was there. So you, you've you cut yourself free from people, places, things that no longer serve you. But this also is speaking to, like, you may have some really grand ideas like brilliant ideas business ideas and you could be coming up with something that is going to really flourish you know in terms of your finances in terms of your business because I see a fulfillment of wishes here and I see you manifesting something in real time and the king of swords and the queen of swords are highly intelligent they are like very masterful at you know reinventing the wheel but even more importantly like coming up with new and exceptional ways to you know um generate wealth uh, so i feel like you're coming into your purpose like you're literally aligning with your purpose um the next card that flew out is we have the eight of swords so this was that same energy I was picking up here um, where someone was feeling um, very very much riddled with fear confused having regrets the eight of swords if you look at this feminine energy I do feel someone was absolutely trying to control another person if you look there is a woman trapped in this bottle and most might look at it like she's banging on the wall, like, let me out, or banging on the glass, like, let me out. I always see it as her summoning her angels and her guides and calling them in to assist her. As I said earlier, just because things appear a certain way doesn't necessarily, you have to walk, you know, um, in a fear. You walk in faith and not in a fear of you not knowing how things will turn out. Um, so it's really about walking in faith and not by sight, regardless of how this may look. I feel like this is really a self-imposed um, disposition here. And when you change your mind, you change your reality because your thoughts become things ultimately. So if you feel trapped, then you will be trapped. But if you know that you are a master manifester and how you speak about your situation, your circumstance, your life, love, finances, then that's what you're that's what you're going to manifest. So it's more about knowing your power and utilizing it for good 
and not to sabotage yourself for that. Um, we also have the 10 of wands, another 10, which is showing another ending. So you're coming out of this space where you were perhaps, um, trapped by, you know, like spells, words of spells and spells bond. And this person is coming out of a mouth. So this mouth could have been very, um, symbolic of, you know, a lot of gossips, uh, some of you could have been victims of defamation of character. People could have been, you know, just kind of spreading rumors and lies um, and deception, um, you know, trying to sway other people's opinions of you. This has been a very um, arduous battle, but you have come out nonetheless. Like you've climbed and gnawed your way out of some type of mess. And it has a lot to do with you just letting go and letting God, you know, trusting in the process and not feeling the need to fight, you know, or stoop to other people's levels, but just relinquishing that need to control that situation and just trusting that your angels and your guides were going to get you out of it. And they did just that. And because of that, that's why you receive these wish fulfillments and these blessings because they heard your prayers. You know, they heard the petitions you were sending up. The next card you have is we have another three of wands. I mean, a three of wands. This is telling me that you definitely got some sort of victories here. But you're planning your strat, you know, planning and preparing um, your movements very wisely. You're not just doing whatever, you know, um, whatever you feel in that instant. It's like you're planning you're strategizing, and then you're taking action. So whatever petitions you've sent up, again, it's confirmation that it's materializing in this physical reality. Um, and next card you have, it goes that wheel of fortune that I've referenced several times in this reading. So this wheel is turning in your favor. What's destined for you is here, it's coming, it's yours, and it looks like it's not only going to be in the form of wish fulfillment, um, and, you know, love, spiritual partnerships, but you're also going to have um, financial freedom, it looks like, as well. From whatever this idea, whatever this career, whatever this business, whatever this is, this, this is that you're working on, it will absolutely be fruitful, it will be abundant, and it is because this is something that you have manifested. You've set the intention, you've visualized a gazillion times, of you having this success, having this love, having this life, and now you're here. So this is your reading, Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Till next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace, love, and light.